Well, we got something a little different today. It's got um, got a few saws on the floor to fix. Uh, this one, it's 261, I think, is roached. That's <laughs> that's without decompression. Oops, that one's roached. Look at the bar. Look at that. Talk about cooked. It's like, what's wrong with it? Um, it's roached. Uh, this 25 I just went through right here, and it runs great. I just got to file a saw. I just ground the chain on that one. This 359 down there. Uh, I got to give some love to my 272 up there. It's a used to be. It's got a 61 cover on it. I just put that on because something went haywire with the pull cord on that. Um. And then I stuck the 61 recoil on it, and that one roached too. I'm not sure what's going on. It's going to be something going on with the paws or something inside. But anyway, here's a good one for you. 394 Hypo Monster Saw Link. ka chunk a chunk a stop um, And what we're going to do... So we're going to tear it down and find out what's wrong with it. Um, see if I cannot get the sun in your eyes here. And what else am I going to need here? I think, I think I can do it with what I've got just sitting here. Let me just grab the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab... Uh, a ratchet set too in case I need something funky on a muffler. I'm actually going to move you a little bit, I think. See, see me too, maybe. So what happens is I, when I'm working, building stuff in the field, I don't have a lot of time to get to this stuff. So we kind of sit around. And what's happening with this one in particular is it's hitting firewood season here. So who wants to get back to work? And. Uh, happened with this particular saw you can actually go back in my channel and probably see the saw run for the first time uh, he gave me a old 394 and asked me to build him a hypo saw which I did and this genius with this firewood company decided that he was going to uh, run as an everyday work saw. It's not a smart thing to do. This was, wasn't intended on... It wasn't built that way. I totally tore the saw down to nothing. Um, did a complete rebuild on it, except for... I used the crank. What happens on these 394s is the parts on these saws are so valuable Because people either convert them over into 395s now, or they part them out and sell the parts because the 394 parts are so valuable. Well, this guy decided to run the saw as an everyday work saw. So what happened was he was starting to bring it back to me and say, oh yeah, you know, this, that, the other thing, which I fixed a whole bunch of stuff on it, muffler came loose. He broke the muffler mount. Um, just kind of mostly stupid stuff that you run into every day when you're, when you're running a saw full time in a wood yard. Um, he's a logger, sells wood, sells firewood, everything. Um, same guy cut his hand off. 
or actually cut his hand like that in a firewood processor. He's back to work, so I try to help him out as much as I can. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the top off. We're gonna pull the top off this. Pull the cylinder off and see what went ka chunk a chunk of stuff. Now I'm not 100 percent sure or I don't know what to uh, think about what went ka chunk a chunk of stop. My guess, because it's locked up. I'll pull some stuff off so you can see, but because it's locked up, my guess is that I need to spit a circuit and that's stuck in there with a crank wrench. This is an old crank in this slide. They're very hard and very expensive and very hard to come by. So there wasn't a lot of choice in that respect. And I the crank is in good shape. I didn't really anticipate this issue. So that's my number my number one um, guess is that the crank broached. Um, and if the crank roached, this is probably going to be junk. Um, the only part that hits. Can you hear that? It's stuck, stuck. Um, the only thing that could be good if the crank roached, this top end might still be good. Not sure. I'm going to take her apart here and find out what exactly went. Uh, High speed stop on it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull the muffler so we can see inside. This muffler's been kind of uh, neglected here, which is a husky thing. It's Muffler's come loose on huskies. It's just one of those things. Oh, it's 10. It's 10 millimeter. And so I want to get back to him and let him know what, what craft itself. Hopefully, oh look at that, oh no, sorry, never mind, hopefully, it's hot, this looks like there's a leak in bar oil, hopefully when I look inside I don't see any scoring, yeah it's, it's, it got hot, there's a lot of scoring on the cylinder, oh this guy's already to look at it, I can't move it obviously, he cooked it, I love it when they always say, I don't know, but, I always run good gas in it. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, cylinder is gonna. I can pull a cylinder off. Until I get closer here. Now, where's. It's going to be on something. 
What is, yeah, be right back, gotta go grab some long Allens, I don't have that Allen to go down in there, oh, let's see what, oh, let's grab some, a couple of keys. That one crosses over. Yep. Thirty seconds. I think that's five thirty seconds too. Yeah. Should be good. kind of thing. Take this one out and then we're gonna just disconnect this intake so it can all come out at once.
a really nice running saw too for a broach. Uh, you're going to want to just see it torn down anyway, but I'm going to get you over here like that while I'm working on it. So, if you look inside. Hopefully that focuses on it. I'm not sure. Uh, that's why it's going to be better if I take it off. There's some pretty good scoring in there. And... Oops, damn it. Get him out of your hole. Wait for a minute. I have to take that off when I pull it off. Hopefully it'll come off. Something she went blink, clunk. stuck on the pretty stuck on the piston right now might say might say might have to pull this intake off so I can give her some twisties I can't twist you like this all right pull the intake off I did. It's a good idea when you work on some of these saws with this kind of intake. Poke yourself a hole through there so you can get at that bolt. And I did do that, which was that was good on my part. Because there's a pain in the ass to go in like this. And you need that ball end mm -hmm. allen to do that. But you're just more likely, more than likely, if you use the ball and Allen to do it, you'll never get it tight. And then it'll come loose, it'll create an air leak. And if it does create an air leak, she's going to go full on quick stop. me. Choke me, baby. Choke me, Amadeus. Intake block. 
This intake block, of course, is one of those ones that bolts on. Uh, so to give her the old uh, twisty tie, we're going to have to take that off too. Piston over here looks good. I don't know if I can twist it here with. Wow. This one's going to be a pain in the munchkins. Can I get that air scoop out of here? take this air scoop out of here and maybe I can twist her like that and how does she hold on? Holding on! She holds on, I can't remember. Yeah, she just pulls out, but maybe it's just pulling out. Is it? There's a bowl right there. That's big one. Get it this one. Oh, look at that. Phillips head. Get it this one. You gotta move the flywheel just right. Damn the bad luck. Let that go. Her to hit the ground. Mm. Move you back a little bit while I crawl around on the ground here. Grab a magnet really quick. Little magnet. Stuck, is stuck, is stuck. Plenty of oil in there too. Everything's nice and coated with oil. She's just stuck. So I am going to have to go to whaling on it. That's going to suck. Wow. It is stuck, stuck too. Can be an easy way about this. Let's see if I can get those uh, cylinder bolts on there first. Where did I fall out? Huh? Yeah, there's a lot of. It's kind of weird. What are you guys looking at? All right, let me mess with you. So this really nice oil in there too. The exhaust is dirty, so I can tell he's been running that junk freaking steel oil or Husqvarna oil. Usually. 
get them twisted a little bit to break them free and they'll come off. This one is stuck, stuck. Hmm. So I'm going to have to go to whaling on her. What am I going to use to whale on? Let me grab a punch. This is going to get ugly now. Oh, the space exhaust. This is going to get ugly now. Hopefully, this goes in there. Yep. So, what I'm going to want to do. like this. And I'm going to want to put a scribe mark to see if it's moving. We're going to put a little scribe mark on the piston here. So it moves. This is no bueno. Yeah, it moved a little bit. Let's keep going. Get some nice rounded end here. No easy way to do it. crazy. I need <coughs> put it back down. So I get punch it, punching on it hard here. Oh, it's moving now. It's going. See if I can do a spinning now. I don't know if you can see. Ah, uh, you can't. You can't see. Come on. That's only going to go down so much. It's going right down now. 
I could just hold on to it. This is starting to come out the bottom. It's almost out. At least this way. It's going to be junk anyway. But almost out. out a little crooked there. Ah! Holy crap. Wow, I gotta show you guys this. So get you guys close up here. I want you to see a few things, okay? Oh, uh, it's gonna be let's get you out of the sunlight. I'm going to bring it over here. I'll show you a couple things here. There's some shit. Number one, she got lots of oil on her. Rings are free. Okay, so the rings didn't do it. You can see my marks where I was hitting on it. Look at this side. It's weird. It looks like this is a big gouge. I mean, huge. I'm, I'm going to get you close up on that. Um, let me just get you close up to that. This is a big gouge. So it actually, it did cook, it got hot, but it only did it right here. You see how on the, almost on the, uh, is it centered? Yeah, it got hot here too. But right here, something peeled off and went nuts right here and gouged the crap. That's where it stuck. Gouge the crap out of it. Let's take a look inside the cylinder on the exhaust side. So I get some light on the subject here so you can see inside. See right there? And look at it, it, it came from like, I don't know if a piece of plating flaked off or. You see how the lowers were ported out and blended. Lowers, oh, oh, there we go. See how the lowers were blended. The uh, intake was timed and ported. This uh, base was, I cut the base too. This base was cut um, to optimize squish. There's really nothing on the intake side except for that dust in there. There's no scratching or anything on the intake side. There's no scratching around the transfers. No scratching, no gouging, nothing around this transfer. But right there, on the side of the exhaust right there, she, she freaking like melted. And if you look at the other side, if I can get the light right here, I apologize for this, but I'm trying to get the light right. If you look at the other side, look at how there's no scoring or anything over there. I know that it doesn't really, it's hard to tell right now, but there's no scoring on the other side. It's just right there, like something came apart right there. Or something got in there that beat against it. There's nothing on the top. Um... I doubt, let me stick my finger in there and feel it here, I don't know that this is savable or not, 
The scratches aren't super deep on the cylinder. There's one spot right under the exhaust right here that's kind of deep. There's some sort of mark right there. I don't know if that's from when I was punching it out if I did that. I know I had to punch to the side a little bit. I might have done that on that. But she definitely, definitely ate something on that side. There's one spot that's kind of deep. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I can see it. So if you see that big wash spot right there where all that transfer is on the for your view on the left side I had it just right a second ago on the left side there there is a little gouge I think this is junk uh, I can see it fine with my eyes you see so it looks like a a letter M on the left side of the M down where the center M's down there's a pretty good little pretty good little gouge there yeah there you go oh, I can see it now look at that I mean it looks like something hard got in there and cycled through this thing like it ate it up but the piston the piston looks like kind of like heat damage Except for this gouge right here. This gouge is deep. You know, almost looks like a piece of the ring came off. But doesn't doesn't I don't see it there. The rings are still intact. I mean this one's this one's enclosed. Would transfer. At least I think it is. Let's do this. I'm gonna put you back in the back in the holder I'm gonna try and pull that ring out see if I can get it out see if it's still in one piece or if that was a piece of the ring that did that I don't know if it's gonna come out well it'll come out just don't know how hard it's gonna get it out the other side looks great oh look at that something there That's just aluminum transfer. See it on my finger. Let's see if I can get this all the way out. The ring's intact and it wasn't the ring. The ring just broke. I don't think it was the ring. I think. I think it, I mean, it almost, to be honest with you, it looks like something cycled through the saw. It looks like Something big got in the saw, cycled through it. This bottom ring will come right off too. Come on, come on, come on, where you want to. Oh. Hmm. Look at, I don't know if you can see this, like a dent over here. Let's get that other ring off too. Welcome to my world. You know what a top end for the saw is going to cost? I think he's almost better off to sell the case. Top end for the saw is going to be ridiculous. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, spit it out. I'll start looking. Come on. Now I need the whole thing. You need a 
Oh, there it goes. It's free. Fly, be free. Come on. Find your way out of there. Oh, damn it. You can always just break them and get them out like that. Something got in here pretty big. Where it got really hot and just started melting apart. It's weird that it got hot in that one spot. Crank still feels good. Yeah, crank feels good. Circlip's still there. Circlip's still there. Pull the circlip and pull the circlip. Sorry, I'm working on the trunk of my, on the back of my truck here. Come on. Is that smaller? And a smaller set of, smaller set of uh, needle nose there would be easier. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Get your punch on. Where did the drift go? Will that go through though? Oh, it's just too big. Punch it out like this. Get your punch. Get your punch on. Punch, punch, punch. Huh. Trying not to upset the apple cart here. I don't want to use a punch punch because I don't want to damage it. It's a flat. Oops. No. Don't go inside it. it. Fits perfectly in the, in the center of the pin. Look at the size of that gouge. So something definitely went up, like whatever is fused in here, like broke free and went up and down in there a couple times before it stuck it. It's just on this side. The gasket's all intact. Well, just meaning that there's gasket all the way around it, I pull it apart, but... Intake looks great. The exhaust is dirty. There's good exhaust wash in there. If you can see the, the pattern, it's dirty though. And whatever came apart, it like rode all the way up and scored all the way up to the squish pan. And there is a pretty good. Can't tell if it's a high spot. So what I am going to do is I am going to hone this and see if that's just aluminum transfer. There's no scratches above um, above the exhaust. There's no scratches down here below that. That one spot where there's a chunk right there feels to me like it's high and not low. So it feels to me like it's transfer. And it's not a score. 
I don't feel any scoring as far as going down into uh, maybe above. Can't, can't really see. I just kind of, kind of got decent light there. I can't tell if the score is above it or if it's high. It might be high. This one feels high here, not low. That one that's right there. You can see it there in the light. That feels high. You get a look at it off camera. There's a possibility that this cylinder is savable, which would be great. Because if I can save the cylinder, I can save the saw. It feels to me like it's high transfer, that nothing went through the plating. There's nothing on this side. It's smooth. Everything, the whole cylinder smooth. I wonder if, well, I'm not going to be able to do that now. But So I'm going to try to hone the cylinder out. Um, I do have a video on doing that back a little ways. So you can see that one score right there. I can, I can see it in the camera, that one score right there. It doesn't feel low. It's like not catching my finger. I think we might get lucky. I think this just might be aluminum transfer onto the plating. These old, these old cylinders are pretty tough. So, anyway, yeah, that's the that's the deal. I'll hone this. See if I can get the transfer out of there. Basically, what you do is, um, if you guys can see me, basically what you do is I have a mandrel that kind of looks like this that goes in a drill with a split in it, and you take pieces of emery cloth and you put them in there. Um, you can wrap them around, stick the center through there, and then spin it in here with a drill. And that emery cloth, you can work specifically just on the transfer before I can before I put a hone in this. I have a hone that'll go in it too. What's up, Josh? Bruno! Bruno! Hi good boy! Hi good boy! And I'll get all that aluminum out of there first. Uh, and then stick a hone in it and see how it comes out. I know. There's no doubt in my mind I'd get a piston for this. It's a cylinder that is the big deal. So, yeah, welcome to my world. 394 million dollar freaking saw. Roached. But at least it's not the crank, because if it was the crank, it'd be junk. And I got, I don't know if you can see this here. I can hold this still. There's no play in this up and down. Zero. The cylinder, I mean, uh, the crank's fine. No heating, no bluing. That all looks good. Piece of the gasket. Look at the, uh, look at the oil in there. So you can see there was good oil. Uh, you know, it almost looks like, I wonder, is that the side where the, it is. This is the side, here, here, you know, here's a possibility, guys. You see where that decompression valve is? I'm almost, I'll almost guarantee it right now. It's on the decompression valve side. See that there? I bet. I bet, I almost guarantee it, this decompression valve stuck open. He ran it and got the white hot jet from hell right from there, right to there. Hold on. Oh, sorry, I didn't have you on camera. See where the decompression valve is? That's the side that cooked right here. See where the decompression valve is? So the decompression valve 
sticks through inside the cylinder right there. If this thing stuck close, stuck open and he ran it, you'd get the white hot jet from hell right there. I guarantee that's what happened. I guarantee it. Matter of fact, it's not working that good as it is. It is not working that good. We're going to pull this off real quick while I got you on camera. That's what happened to the saw. I guarantee it. There's no doubt in my mind. Based on, you can see how it was only on one side. You see it was on that side. And the decompression valve comes through like right up in there, right above that. That This thing stuck open and he ran this, the shit out of the saw. And you got the white hot jet from hell and melted that cylinder right there. No, zero, zero doubt in my mind that's what happened to the saw. Let's take this decompression valve out and see if it's damaged. That is what happened to the saw. There's no doubt in my mind. Let's see how she shots. Close up. It pull, it's weird. It almost feels like it's not together. It pulls hard. There's no doubt in my mind that's what happened in the saw. Where is... If you look at where the hole is here, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but the hole's right in the top, right up in there. That's right above where it cooked. Right dead above where it cooked. So you can see the sunlight coming in there. Actually, you can see where the hole is because you can see the sunlight coming through. See the sunlight up in the top left corner? Look at where it cooked. Cooked right there, right on that side. No doubt in my mind that this decompression valve stuck open and he ran the crap out of it. And he didn't notice, and nor would he. And you got the white hot jet from hell right there and it melted that piston right there. It was blowing. This thing's right about in this orientation right here. And you got the white hot jet right there and it melted it right there. That's probably why you got that real fine line there too. Because you it was straight airstream blowing right here. Sucking in, getting hot right there. That's what happened to the saw. No doubt. Alright boys and girls. Well, I will uh I gotta find myself a box. Throw this thing in a box. Um, sometime in the next couple days, I'll hone this out. Probably try and video that because, other than that one spot, it looks really good in there. And hopefully, the good part is if it just melted the aluminum with that white hot jet from hell, that aluminum is not hard enough to mess with that plating. So I think it melted it and it you saw how hard it was to get it apart get the, the cylinder off. I mean the uh, piston out. If it melted it it just melted it went screech and stuck it right there. And I bet that's just all molten aluminum in there. I bet this is savable. So that's actually that's a really good sign. 100% that's what happened. Look at that. This was actually serviced by someone 41001. This cylinder's 22 years old. And you can see uh, here how much I machined off it. If you see the Molly, the Molly lettering here, you can see how much I machined off the base. I don't remember what it was, but it was about 40,000, something like that. Um, that's why it, this is thinner and it's cut up into the lettering here.
I actually made a mandrel to go in it and cut it from the side, like uh, on my metal lathe, like that. And I indicated it and everything; it came out perfect. It's that that decompression valve stuck, no doubt. And I'm going to tell them that too. And then we are going to try to save this. And I know I can get a piston for it. So this saw might be savable. Where did? Speaking of savable, where did? Oh, there it is. Bearing for the the, um, the piston pin. I mean, there's no bluing in here or anything. That's what happened to the saw. Yep. All right. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I was just looking for the. Uh, I was just looking for the. Uh, the uh, bearing for the rod pin, piston pin here. There's no blowing on it or anything. Zero. Good oil in there. Everything's kind of coated. It's a little sticky because it's been sitting for a while. It kind of runs crappy shit. See it on my finger right there. I'm just wiping around the inside of the crankcase. So there's hope. There is hope. New piston and away we go. Alright, I'm going to kill this thing. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, appreciate the watch. Any comments, hit me up. Uh, Pirate Solutions out.